Alright guys, hello and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video we're going to be making a stand for my soldering table. This is going to be so that we can uh, solder the uh, speaker leads on the rear door back together and for other things such as working on door panels. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so uh, this was my original tripod. It came off of a uh, telescope right here. It's the one that I started out YouTube using. And uh, I still use it sometimes, but uh, we're going to be using this. And we got a drill here. And then obviously our soldering table. And then we have this thing. You may have missed this. But uh, this is the thing that we're going to be using. Alright. What we're doing is we're flipping over the back of this. And we're pretty much turning this into a, uh, a quarter inch hole. Right. So that so it will set this end right here that screws into the bottom of a camera. Okay. Now if you record YouTube videos all the time, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And this is kind of a DIY project, so that's kind of why I wanted to stick with the tripod. Something really easy to get your hands on. Something you don't really have to make. And uh, then it's this thing I paid a dollar for two of these. So, yeah. I mean, this is really easy stuff. And uh, the last thing you're going to need is a hammer. Uh, so I'm going to go uh, grab that real quick. But uh, basically what we're going to be doing is I've already kind of saw it, started it right here. Might be able to see that. Okay. I started a hole there and I was trying to actually thread this into the wood and it wasn't working. Uh, I didn't know that it wasn't going to work, to be honest, because I haven't really worked. I haven't worked with wood that much. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be drilling a pilot hole and then tapping this baby in there with a hammer. So, I'm going to go ahead and go get a hammer. We're going to drill out the hole, chop this sucker in there, and that should be it, to be honest. Okay. So, well, it was really simple and really easy to do. All I did was draw the hole of that, and look at this. That sucker is not going anywhere. It's not. You can sit and move it. You know? And it's a tripod, right? So you can raise and adjust it depending on how you need it. Like like what height you need it in. Like let's say we're working on this thing. Hey dad, how's it going? Let's say we're working on this truck. You can adjust it to the height of this door. Right here. Or you can adjust it to the height of that. Or even on the S10 over there. See, because it's a smaller truck and it sits on the ground. So, uh, yeah. So this thing's going to work out really great. Uh, real quick, I'm going to try to go over how I, how I built this and stuff so that you guys will get a better understanding of that. And uh, after that, we're going to go over there to my car. We're going to solder the leads on the rear and go from there. Alright, guys. So, uh, real quick, I'm going to unscrew this from the tripod. I just screwed it back in because I'm retarded. Uh, there we go. Okay. So, uh, so look here, you see, I literally just stuck it in there. Alright, now it's not nailed very flat. So, uh, you guys are going to get a little bit of a preview of that. I'm going to go ahead and stick these arms out here. Get them nice and out of the way. I'll layer down. Like this. And... Huh. See? And this aluminum is not getting damaged because... I don't really care though, that's, that's kind of why I made it the way I did, so that if it ever gets really bad damage, you can't replace it. Now one thing that I might do is if this thing starts backing out or whatever, is I might take some epoxy and stick in there to hold this thing in. But uh, we're going to see how this thing holds up on its own. Alright, and if it holds up great, phenomenal. We don't have to add anything to it. But uh, if we got some issues out of it, we may have to epoxy it in or do something else now literally this is the easiest thing in the world okay the way that I did this made it very simple very DIY to me because something like this took me about 10 minutes okay I went to the store I bought this I went grab my tripod and I screwed it to it All right, it took me like a grand total of 10 minutes to do this whole thing but uh, yeah guys you can see this thing is very easy to use and stuff like that so uh, we are gonna be doing two things in this video we're gonna go ahead and solder the leads on the back of my car and we're going to get this thing, then we're going to get this tar completely ready for six by eights in this video. Alright, so we got this thing hooked up. Uh, as you can see, we have our leads here. Now, something very interesting, but I knew this would happen anyway, is if you touch these together, the speaker's going to stop working, okay? It's not going to work if these two are touching. 
All right, and I know that this solder looks pretty messy right now. It's because these are really old wires and it's hard to solder them together. But uh, what I have right now doesn't come apart, as you can see. And we're gonna be taping it up here. In uh, electrical tape or heat shrink will work for this. Uh, I was gonna buy some heat shrink and put on this, but I think it should be fine the way it is. Uh, these, are not, these won't actually pull over it, so I can't use them. But uh, they'll just solder like this. And uh, once we get done taping it up, we're gonna stick this thing in there. But uh, real quick, I'm gonna show you guys how it works. So uh, I'm gonna go turn the key on. And this thing's gonna put right through the seat. So guys, watch. I did something to make it cool. I can remember what Okay guys, so watch this. So, you can hear it? Watch, I'm gonna touch these wires together. As you can see, it stops. So, uh... I unplugged my subwoofers so that, uh, because there's stuff sitting on them, I don't want them to blow up. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be uh, it. We're going to the other side now. And uh, after that, we're pretty much done. I mean, these things are now ready for 6 by 8s Woo! It likes to, it just wants to slide off like that. So, uh, I think what I'm going to do is try to, uh... There I went. Okay, it wasn't clicking in place was the issue. But I just got it to click in place. It should be great now. Now we're gonna go ahead and bolt this sucker in and then I'll let you guys listen to both of the rear speakers. say happy thanksgiving you know i hope you all have a very happy thanksgiving a merry christmas and now i'll see you before then i ain't gonna say new year but i'll see you before the new year uh anyways guys see you next time